The English Premier League continues to be an amazing and competitive football league that never fails to thrill its fans. With matches played in less than a year, it's considered the greatest league in the world. Each season brings with it something unique. In the 2021-22 campaign, Manchester City defeated Liverpool by one point. Thus, in the 2020-21 season, Jose Mourinho, the former manager of Manchester United, finished second, thus called this one of his greatest achievements in his illustrious managerial career. There is still time for the 2023-24 season, and all of the best teams are working really hard to win the league title, but only one can take home the trophy. Currently, Liverpool, Manchester City, and Arsenal are the front runners in the title race, but Aston Villa, who is in fourth position, isn't far behind the pack. During the past 20 years, Aston Villa's best Premier League finish came in the 1996-97 season during Brian Little's tenure. With 17 goals, the manager and well-known players like Dwight York were the team's top goal scorer. After that though, the team was unable to advance further, albeit Martin O'Neill's guided them to three consecutive sixth place finishes between 2007 to 2010, during which time they would not have been eligible for the UEFA Champions League. Aston Villa last made it to the UEFA Champions League in 1995-96 campaign. Therefore, this season, they are waiting for the opportunity to make history by returning to the biggest club's football competition. Great players like Charlie Hadkin, Paul McGrath, Gabby Albandohor, and even Jack Grealish have historically helped Aston Villa achieve success, whether it be trophies or simply through playing competitive and impressive football. But the past is in the past and the present is here. Una Emery, a tactical genius who makes the most of little resources, has brought Aston Villa back to life this season. By making players play in competitive football and producing positive results, he has established an effective and well-liked rotation system that helps both new and established players to avoid injuries and remain top nuts to crack. With this level of execution, the win ratio is 68%, even if there are less than 12 games left for the team to be played. The team keeps winning games, and with special players like Ollie Watkins, who has scored 16 goals so far, it doesn't seem impossible for them to play in the UEFA Champions League. Thank goodness for the Frank effect in 2019-20 campaign, which transformed Watkins into a well-known goal machine. Additionally, despite the fact that the team's players are in excellent form, Leon Bailey, akin to Darwin Nunes at Liverpool, has become the club's new cult icon and has been playing exceptionally well. Regarding the Jamaican international, Leon Bailey has changed under Unai Emery's direction. One of the club's most talked about players, Bailey scored important goals and assists in high pressure games. I suppose Manchester City can tell you about that winning goal he scored on December the 6th, 2023. The team has been able to work effectively together in a 4-4-2 system, with a focus on maintaining stability in the middle of the field and forcing opponents to the wings. This has allowed the club to move beyond being a one-man show. When they have positions off the ball, they attack the goalies first in an attempt to quickly advance across the field. The team heavily relies on special players like Cash, Torres, McGinn, Ramsey, and even Luis, and cannot function without them. Despite not being considered potential Premier League's champion, it would be surprising if Villa did not make it to the UEFA Champions League. What do you think about this?